you were invited by this committee to help us explain what you saw during the, the sitting of the 29th, 22nd. Okay? Okay. Let's do this. Give us all your details, first of all. Mr. Chairman, my name is Cassidy Ignatius. I am the clerk. My substantive appointment is Director Clerks. Director Clerks? Yes. Were you in the house on the 29th November 22nd? Yes. What, what was your role? On, the, on that day, I was the lead clerk in the house. You are the lead clerk in the house? Yes. Okay. Um, you remember the house was adjourned because, among others, there was uh, disorder in the house. Yes. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Can you take us through what exactly happened? Mr. Chairman, on, as I stated on that day, I was a clerk at table. Uh, the house was proceeding well. And we had reached, uh, the, the house was considering matters of national importance. Then Honorable Zake rose on a point of procedure. The speaker allowed him to continue. And he raised the issue of abduction of citizens. I remember him saying that the issue had reached critical crisis, especially in Central Region. Along the way, the speaker called for his attention and requested him to resume his seat because, according to the speaker, he wanted to give him further guidance. Honorable Zake did not resume his seat. He continued to argue with the speaker, and he, there was a lot of commotion in the house. There was disorder, and the speaker, realizing that there is disorder in the house, he was forced to suspend the, the, the sitting for some time. When we resumed, Honorable Zake was not in the house. But the leader of opposition then, Honorable Nabasha, rose and asked, asked the speaker to explain a few things. I remember him stating that he regretted for what had happened and he, he requested the speaker to allow the prime minister make some clarification on the issue of abduction. The, speaker, the speaker guided that the house has rules, and in his view, he guided that we are, he, the house will continue guided by the rules. And he, at that point, he referred to Rule 175B, and, and he asked that the matter be referred to the Committee on Rules, Privileges, and Discipline. After that, Honorable Segona rose up and made an undertaking that he has on their side, on the opposition, they regret what have happened what had happened, and he made an undertaking that such thing will never happen again. But also pleaded with the speaker that he stays the decision, that the speaker said no, he has made the ruling. If he has another discussion on that matter, he invited him to meet him after the sitting in his house. The house, after that, continued well, and we are able to transact what the, issue, the matters before the house. We 
received the ministerial, we continued with matters of national importance, then proceeded with ministerial position, ministerial statement, and we adjourned four minutes to seven o'clock in the evening. That's Mr. Chairman, what I remember on that day. There is evidence before this committee by one technical staff that uh, the owner of Ozake slapped the restaurant while addressing the house or the speaker. Did you see it? Mr. Chair, I've, uh, I'm here to tell you what I remember, I saw and I heard. I just explained what I saw and what I heard on that day. So, pass. you say that there was commotion in the house. Can you be very clear? Didn't he say commotion? He I said heard. disorder. Disorder, yes, you said there was disorder in the okay, house. Mr. Lukaku, please, if you have anything, it, the chair was the authority here. So if you have an objection, don't engage members. You have to engage anybody through the chair. No, you were. You are no, making clarification. In the full observance of the chair. So let's let it lie. But if you have an issue to I've raise, not, please not, raise it through the chair. Yes, you say the, there, was an, there was disorder in the house. We want you to be very clear. Clarify to us what was this kind of disorder you're talking about and who was causing this disorder. Mr. Chair, you know, the rules are very clear. No, 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 forget about the rules. Mm. You were talking about facts. You are not a technical witness for, on that particular point. You have witness of fact. Mm. There was argument between Honorable Zake and the speaker. The speaker was requesting him to resume his seat. Honorable Zake, I remember him saying, no, no, no. And he was raising his voice. When you say no, no, and you bang the table, was he doing that like what you are doing? Exactly. That's what you are saying? Yes. What was that? This the one you are doing, like, no, 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 was he burning the table like you've been doing? I said there was disorder in the house. Just answer the question, Mr. Cassidia, please. Okay, he was banging. I said, no, no, no. No, no, no. Did he bang only three times? No, no, no. How many times? Did he... Was it only three times or many times? And banging is different from slapping. When you are banging, you use the fist. When you are slapping, you use the what? The palm. I've, I've said, he, he said, no, no, no. Three times? Two times or two times. Now another question. Do you normally take notes of every member of parliament submitted on the floor when you are there? When we are in the house, our cardinal law is to, re to record the decision of the house. How do you record it? By writing, taking notes? Yes. You write down we write all the submissions? Not all the submission, the decision of the House. The decision of the House. Yes. How about the submission of the member? We have our sister department, the Hansard, which record everything as it appears. In now, the, how, the how do you recall the, the submission of Honorable Zake? Because you said he rose on procedure, and then uh, he mentioned the names of the 18 missing persons. How do you recall, since you have not been taking notes, did you, have you read it from the answer or you wrote it somewhere and then now you are narrating what you wrote down? No, well, the decision of the House relating to what happened was to refer the matter to the Rules Committee. That was the decision. Okay. Yes. Uh, thank you, Honorable Chair. I want to ask Mr. Kassirie, what was the center of argument or the reason of argument between Honorable Zake and the Speaker. 
the argument was the speaker wanted to give further guidance to Honorable Zake about, you know, uh, Honorable Zake rose on a point of procedure. And he, he quoted some rules. So I don't want to guess what guidance the speaker wanted to give. But the speaker requested him to, to resume his seat so that he can give him further guidance on the matter. Are you done, Honorable? Not yet. Uh, Mr. Kassiri. What exactly was Mr. Zake Saumit, Honorable Zake Saumit? Exactly, what was exactly Honorable Zake Saumit about before the speaker giving guidance? I did state that Honorable Zake raised the issue of abduction of citizens. I'm done, Chair. Okay. Yes, Honorable? I will speak last. Uh, thank you, Chair. Uh, Mr. Kassili, I just wanted to ask, uh, you said uh, during that time when uh, Honorable Zake was exchanging with the speaker when he was banging the table and saying no, did anyone try to approach him, maybe colleagues within the... Uh, did they try to approach him maybe to, to try and make him refrain, refrain from that act? Did anyone approach him maybe try and stop him from that action? I remember the speaker requesting the leader of opposition. Uh, they did, the speaker did ask the leader of opposition to help to preside over Honorable Zaki. And did he do that? Did the leader of opposition take action? Did he do that? Did he approach Honorable Zaki maybe to advise him to decline or what? Mr. Chair. What I remember is that Honorable Zake continued to make noise, raise his voice. So I'm not in position to explain whether the leader of opposition managed to preside over him. Yes, Honorable. Uh, thank you, Chair. Mr. Kasuri, is just uh, two questions. One, uh, at, at any point, did you feel I wanted you to describe to me how you felt the speaker, the speaker's tone of voice was when he was trying to stop Honorable Zake. Did you feel he was harsh in his tone? Did you feel? Well, if you're asking for my view, the speaker was so patient with Honorable Zake. So, upon your response, and uh, the way you described how Honorable Zake responded by banging, and uh, you have observed parliamentary proceedings for so many years. Would you categorically say that Honorable Zake was out of order? You know, I was trying to refer the rules, but the chairman said I should not. No, but now he is asking you a specific question. He say yes or no. Hmm. Yeah, in my view, Honorable Zake was contravening the rules because when the speaker is talking, other whole members are expected to resume their seat and hear him in silence. No, you, let's see if he has finished, then you can take it up. Are you done? Okay. Next. Yeah. You're back? Okay. okay. Thank you for giving me the opportunity a second time. I want to ask Mr. Kassidi, when members are applauding in Parliament, what do they do? Applauding, or they're happy about something. Normally, when members of Parliament are... Is the word applauding? Applauding, yeah. They... I don't know whether I'm explaining what you're asking. They stamp the floor. They stamp the floor. But they can at times no. the chairs. True? So what, I've explained that when they are, they stamp the floor. That's what I know. Do they at times, do they bang the chairs where they are sitting? I've told you what I know, sir.
Yes, Honorable. Uh, Mr. Kasiri, you did mention that uh, Honorable Segona rose up and said this will never happen again. What do you think he meant with that statement? Uh, Mr. Chair, I think Honorable Segona regretted the, dis uh, the, the, the disorder in the house caused by one of our own. And that's why he said, we regret what happened, and I undertake to ensure that it never happens again. We have a, a footage here. Do, do, you, do we have uh, our technical people here? Are you around? Yes. Can you play it, please? I've just had second. Yeah. Secondly, the speaker was trying to offer guidance to Honorable Zake and he stated that Honorable Zake continued to raise his voice. Can you describe how he was raising his voice to the extent that uh, you, you are now stating that he was disorderly? How was he raising his voice? In the form of annulation? How? Can you describe? I think I'm going to repeat what I stated. No, don't repeat that. That one only. Because I, I did state that uh, Honorable Zake banked three times and said, no, no, no. And to me, that is disorderly. Can you play that tape, please? Okay. You want to tell us whether that is the tape of the full of The victims are moved to the supporters of, of, of the opposition and right to one of those two days now ago, NUP supporter Kapma Jamshid, who also doubled as my president's bodyguard, he was abducted with three other youth from their workplace. Mr. Speaker, only this month alone, hundreds of youth have been abducted and they have disappeared. It's not a big mischief in the Then it means you know also what you are doing is not right and I'm going to do it. That's the message of telling you. Because you see, first, okay, the issue you are raising is not part of proceedings in this one. But there are many ways you can raise that issue. I will go to you, you go to my office, I will give you how you can raise the issue. That's my ruling here. Okay, no, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, this matter has been going on. I mean, well, we seem not to be doing anything. I mean, I can see kind of thing, you see? In his submission, I have seen, I haven't heard any sound of the banging. Can you justify your, 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 your statement? 
Mr. Chair, I was at table very close to where the Honorable Zaki was standing. I did not say there was a, a, a big hang, whatever noise made, but I said he did no, no, no. That's what I stated. There was very close from what was happening there. Do you sit on the same table? Yes. Go on record. Do you sit on the same table from where the Honorable Zake was speaking? Yes, sir. Okay, Honorable Zake, do you have any question for Mr. Kassidi? Mr. Kassidi, for how long have you been director clerks? I've been the director for now one month. So at the time the incident happened, you were not holding that position of director clerks? The time the incident happened, I was assistant director. Who was, the, di who was the director then? The director was Mr. Bakwega Emmanuel. And is the one who headed the team of clerks on that day? I was the one heading uh, the clerks on that day. How many were you in chambers? We are two. Hmm? Two. You and the Sambodeles? Yes. So on that day you headed a colleague? I was the lead council clerk. You were two? Yes. Who else was there? The second clerk is called Melina. Hmm? Melina Barunji. Melina Now taking you to the scene, you indicated here in your testimony that there was disorder in the house. Do you know exactly what triggered it? I beg your pardon? Let me put it differently. The disorder you are talking about, was it arising from the statement made by the Honorable Zake? Uh, 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 the disorder I'm talking about was arising out of failure to respect the Speaker's order. Wonderful. Did the speaker make a ruling on that issue? The speaker guided. Did the speaker make a ruling? Yes, he did. To what effect? The speaker did indicate that Honorable Zake had laws on a point of procedure. But in his view, the matter which Honorable Zake was raising was not part of the proceeding in the House. Okay. L l let me be clear on this and specific. Was the Honorable Zake ruled out of order? Honorable Zake was advised to resume his was seat. Was he ruled out of order? By uh, the matter of... Yes the, or no? Was he ruled out of order? Honorable Zake was asked to resume his seat. Was he ruled out of order? No, no, no. I, I guided some time back. Ask the question, he gave the answer. If the answer has been given is not satisfactory, you know at the point, you raise it. That is his answer, and that's your question. Chair, I would request that... You, you are not, Honorable Kwago, you are not going to get ans the answers you want. Your question, your role is to ask the questions and the answers for him. If he has given any relevant answer, that is good for your case. You raise it. And that's how proceedings are conducted. Yeah, I, 
Kind Rebecca, Honorable Chair, I'm seeking for your indulgence, Honorable Chair. The witness is here to tell the truth about what happened. He has already and told I'm you. Asking, and I'm you asking. asked a question. Let me get. You asked a question. Did he roll him out of order? And his answer is he was advised to resume his seat. Then th okay. that that Let me is ask a different answer. question now. Did anybody, did any member raise a point of order against the Honorable Zake? I don't recall. Okay. Did the speaker make any ruling as to whether the Honorable Zake was out of order or not? The speaker asked Honorable Zake to resume his seat. Chair, I request that the witness answers the question. That is his answer. And you have an opportunity to say the witness refused to answer this particular question, or he answered it like this. And that is how proceedings are conducted judiciously. We don't force answers through witnesses. We don't do that. So let's go to some other question. Yes. So you know when a witness is evasive, you have the prerogative to, to compel the witness to answer the question, either yes or no. No, 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 no. There are no yes or no questions here. And, and by the way, I want to repeat this. This is an inquiry and it's not a court proceeding. Please. Uh, we, we, we don't have to do that. Let's, let's go this, let's proceed this way. I, I have to emphasize this. Colleagues and uh, honorable, I don't want to address you, I want to address you. This is an inquiry. It is not a court proceeding. It's not a criminal court, neither is it a civil court. The rules that apply here are our only rules. Okay? So, Honorable, your lawyer's question has been, one, did the speaker make a ruling on, on what, whether Honorable Kwago was out of order or not? His answer is, the speaker asked him to resume his seat. That's what the record has captured. Mr. Kassidia, you're on record saying that in your view the Honorable Zake's conduct contravened the rules of procedure. What is it that he did? Put on that microphone. First of all, which rule did he contravene? Mr. Chair, I did say that uh, when the speaker is addressing the house, any member is required by the rules to resume immediately his seat and the speaker to be heard in silence. Okay. Now, you have viewed the footage there. You are suggesting the in the Act is a failure to resume the seat when ordered by the Speaker. Is that so? I've stated what I saw and what I heard, and I don't... No, 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 no. The question he has asked is, you have seen the footage and the impugned Act is for the Honorable Zake to resume his seat, and he does it. I don't know whether I've got your question. He's not to resume his seat when ordered. Yeah. Is that He's the not to resume his seat, mm. like the rules say, when ordered. Yes. And at the time he was ordered to resume his seat, and he remained standing, how many MPs were standing? 
Mr. Chair, I cannot give the number of MPs who are standing. Chair, I, play, I request we play that particular footage and see. Play that. the footage again. You tell Can we sort of forward it to. Because that's quite, quite. Huh? No, your lawyer should do. Mr. Rupa, do we forward it to that particular. That particular. I think you'll start from when the speaker starts to talk. Is it that the point? Do we start from there? I don't know the exact point, Chair, but I would like to see that particular impound act where he claims he refused to sit down. It is that moment, Chair, that moment. Can you ascertain the number of MPs who are standing? Still, make it still. Okay. No, there is one who has just sat it down. <laughs> uh -huh. There, that particular point. How many are standing? How many are standing? Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, there are three. Can you identify their names? I see Honorable Zake. I see Honorable Nambasha. He's called Nambeshe. 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 I can't recognize the ones facing the other side. And Honorable Nandut. Play. Can we stop there for the time being? Would you confirm that is this disorder you are talking about in the house? The DOS disorder I stated was failure to resume the seat when the speaker. Is that the disorder, that particular point? For the you know. Can I explain, Mr. Chair? Go ahead. When Honorable Zake refused to take his seat, other members became, wanted to challenge him. And the speaker requested Lob to preside over Honorable Zak. Wonderful. Can we get the particulars of those who wanted to challenge him? I saw Honorable Nandut. Had the speaker requested that to, to challenge him? The speaker requested the rope. And those other members who were standing had also been requested? To no, no. Were they orderly or disorderly? They were not disorderly.
So their movements was perfect in order. Their movements within the house. When you want to speak, you rise to, so that the speaker can catch your eyes. I guess that's what they are trying to do. No, the speaker doesn't catch your eyes. You catch the speaker's <laughs> eye. <laughs> they were trying to catch the speaker's eye. Let me speak but particular about the Honorable Nandut. As she was moving back and forth, was she ordered? She was ordering. She was trying to catch the speaker's eye by moving forth and backward. She was ordering. So when you want to catch the speaker's eye, you move up and down? But, but can we see the footage and see that movement up and down? Okay, that's enough. Proceed. So, procedure it is okay for a member of parliament to keep walking in the house as the speaker is talking. Was the speaker talking? Play again. <laughs> no, let, let's play again because you see, we are looking at the same video. Okay? I want a question which is relevant. Let's mm -hmm. play again. Let's restrict to what our observations are. But why I asked that question, I thought it factually it was not correct. Honorable Zake cited by the speaker or named by the speaker in accordance with the rules. I may be specific. Not in accordance with the rule, but he made a ruling and requested him to resume his seat. Okay, let me ask you a more specific one. Did the speaker order the Honorable Zaket to withdraw from the chambers? No. Did the Honorable Nambesha intervene? Colonel Nambesa stood up and tried Did to... Did he intervene? Yes. In which way? He rose and tried to persuade Honor Zake to resume his seat. Did he succeed? No. Yes? No. So the Honor Zake remained in the house. He never withdrew from the house. At that point, he remained standing. He, went, he left the house when the house was suspended. Wonderful. Let's go now to the actual scene of that impand act, the disorder you are talking about. A couple of questions. You had earlier alone testified that the Honorable Zake banged the table. Number one, did he bang or he slapped? I've stated that Honorable uh, Zake said, no, no, no. That's my, what I saw. Did he slap the, the table? I've made clarification of what I saw.
how many times you said? Two. Two times. And it was that particular point, that particular moment, when he was asked to resume his seat and he remained standing? Is that the moment when he banged the table twice? I did state that he engaged the speaker. No, no. Is it at that moment when he was asked, the, one, the moment where that particular bit we have been watching, where he's asked, resume your seat and he remains standing, is it at that moment that he banged the table? No. Did he bang it before the house was suspended? Before the house was suspended, yes. Chair, can we get that moment before the house is suspended as he's banging the table? Proceed. Yes? I said that I was at the table where Honorable Zaki was standing and I've stated what happened. Is the banging captured in that footage? I'm just telling you what I saw and what I heard. So I'm not going to tell you what I did not see. I don't want to lie before this committee. So you are, you are asserting that you would be lying if you said that the video captured the, the, the bomb? I said when I was okay, let me repeat. Uh, the speaker asks him to resume and said, no, no, no. That's what I've stated. Was he violent? I stated that he was engaging the speaker. Was he violent? He was disorderly. The word I'm using, violent, was he violent? He has refused to use the word violence, and he said he's disorderly. Chair, honestly speaking, these are very simple questions. Let me tell you, these are simple questions. there are no simple questions in cross-examination. And please, le let us conduct these proceedings professionally. How, am, how unprofessional I am. You get it? How I am. When a witness answers the question, that is his answer. Then you have an opportunity at submission to make whatever submission you want about the answer. So le le let's, le 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 please, please, please. I, I, I just want us to, and, and I repeat this. This is an inquiry conducted professionally. A witness has answered the question. If you are dissatisfied with the question, you know what you do in a submission. And this is standard. Proceed to the next, next question, Mr. Alcoago, please. Chair, I would like to register my concern on the, on the, on the way the proceedings are being conducted? You have all the right, and you know when you are supposed to do that. Can you proceed with the next question? Before we proceed, Chair, I need to be guided on how professional I should be, because the catchphrase is proceedings should be conducted professionally. And I'm posing uh, absolutely, questions. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm posing questions to the witness which are pertinent. The question of the impunity or the act is an issue. And we want to know whether the Honorable Zaki was violent or not. He has told you he was disordered. You, the issue of violence, 
you prolong it, he said he has disordered. Can you make that interpretation? You don't get the answers. It's not your words the, the witness should use. Your duty is to ask the questions, and the witness answers. Let's proceed, please. Would you need a few minutes for consultation? Chair, we are a bit disturbed because in the examination in the chief, the witness gave a lot of opinionated evidence, a lot of it, which is on record. So if we could see how now to sieve out what can be on record and what should be off record because I'm trying to examine him on the very evidence he gave because there are situations where he was asked even to interpret the actions of the Honorable Zake, to interpret the feeling of the speaker that was the speaker happy. Did we allow that? The question, the question came up. How did the speaker treat this? Then he said, the speaker appeared to be offended. He's on record saying that. Where, where do you get that? There was nobody, there is nowhere on our record when the, when the witness talked, used the word offended. It's not anywhere on our record. That is your word.
since the witness is not ready to answer our questions and is being protected by the chair, we beg to stop there as far as this witness is concerned. Okay. That witness is... Dear colleagues, is anybody who has any other question? Okay. Mr. Cassidy, you are discharged. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Next witness.